Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to give a quick shout out to Alexander and Samuel. Thank you guys for tuning in and being a fan. Definitely appreciate it. You guys definitely helped inspire some of these videos. So thank your dad for reaching out as well. All right, so let's get right to it. Today is number three. All right, number three, which is going to be the lead hook. So again, if you are right-handed or left-handed, it does depend on what the lead hook is. If you are right-handed again, which I am, remember your left foot is in the front. And we'll do a video too on the stance and footwork because that I'm sure that will help as well. So left foot in the front, right foot in the back. If you're right-handed, which most people are, uh, if you're again, if you're lefty, right foot in the front, left foot in the back. But everything's the same. It's going to switch it up. So hands up, elbows and chin down. Remember, like we did in episode one, we worked on the jab, on the two. We worked on the cross, right? So we have the one and the two. You guess what comes after one, two? We're going to have the three. That is going to be the lead hook. I'm going to do it for now, uh, practicing pivoting that foot. Remember, so the jab is a snap, right? Everything else is a twist, right? We're twisting. You could be over dramatic with it. Notice I'm turning, turning, turning. I'm turning my body for all the other punches. So we have one, two. Remember, the two is a pivot on that back foot. Now the three is going to be. I'm going to let this foot come down to get a little more stability and I'm going to twist the lead one around for the three. So I'll get close to the camera here. It is like a 90 degree angle. So if you know a little bit of math, right, it looks like the letter L. So I'm here like this. Notice again, elbow up, right? Elbow in, hands up high. This is protecting the chin. So look what happens. Everything's protected. If I were to get hit, right? It still hits my shoulder. It won't hit my chin right away. And the other hand is up protecting the chin. So this is the number three and it goes really nicely with the one and the two. So you have one, two, three. Notice the exaggeration on the twisting of my feet, right? So I snap the jab, I pivot, and then I pivot back. It really works out really nicely, especially you go for the two and then whoosh, right into the three. The three has a lot of power. It's a really good punch. We're going to practice on the quiet punch. With the modified a little bit on the fire punch, the bag is flat, just like on a heavy bag as well. It's like a cylinder, but it's really not that great to hit the hook. If you want to do a hook on the quiet punch, it's really good to be perpendicular to your back. So notice I'm facing away from it, and when I throw the hook, I'm going to catch it right in the center. But I'm going to do it facing here. So it's one, two, right? Remember the pivot, and I'm going to pivot back for that three. So one, two, three. And three, give me some nice power, good rotation. Remember though also to keep your eye on your opponent. So when I throw my three, there is a blind one, but we're not gonna do that for today. When I throw a three, I'm gonna continue to look at my opponent. I'm not going to look away because then I don't know what's coming at me. So again, one, two, three. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Notice. A good rotation. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's go for two more. One more time. Yeah, nice. Very nice. So let's put some of this stuff together. So remember in number one, we were bouncing and we were shooting the jab. Remember when I shoot the jab, I'm pushing off my back foot just like a runner, right, with sprint. So I push off, shoot the jab. So that's the one. Then I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna turn on the two. And then from there, I'm in a great position to get this foot to drop down. As this foot drops down, this one takes over. Notice, again, the nice rotation. So it's one, two, three. Good. Two more. One more time. Hey, very nice. Good job. I'm going to get close to the camera here. We're going to practice it together. So again, the three, let's have the hands nice and high. Do it with me here. So your hands are up from out of, you're going to lean. Let's lean a little to the side you're going to use. That's the idea too. So I'm going to lean to, since I'm right hand, I'm going to lean to my lead side, which is my left side. And now I'm in a great position to push, come back with some good power. So it's slip, push. Throw that hook. Slip, hush, throw that hook. Slip, hush, throw that hook. Yep. Hush, good. Two more. Hush, one more time. Hush, good. Remember, I'm getting nice rotation. The beauty of this, especially after throwing the two, 
you get to really learn what it means to use your momentum, right? So I'm actually shifting from one side to the other. So I lean from one side and then hush, come right back. Notice the amount of power that's there, right? So I'm coming on the lead side here and then hush, and then I come right back with that power. So again, one, two, three. One, two, hush, three. Good. Let's go for two more. One more time. Yay, very good. Very nice. Let's add a little defense to that. Let's try this here. So hands up nice and high. Let us practice blocking. My hands are already up, right? So I'm going to block the side here. Somebody touches this, push, and then I fire that lead hook. This is also a really good drill to try out. So I'm in defensive mode here. Somebody touches this side. As soon as they touch it, push, it comes back with that power. So they touch it, hit it. So I'm actually going to slap it, but just imagine that. So as your hands are up, you're going to kind of brace for impact, meaning someone's hitting here. You brace, push, and then fire. So I'm in front of the bag. I'm here. I'm kind of brace for a second, push, and then fire. So brace, push, fire. Good. Push, 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 push. Good. Two more. Push. One more time. Push. Yes. Good. Let's put it together again with that one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Push, push, push. Good. Let's go for two more. One more time. Yay. Nice work, everybody. Doing a really good job at home. Keep it up. Really, really impressive. Again, so we have the one with the good turnover, the two with the good pivot, and the three with the good lead pivot. Again, one, two, three. One, two, three. Good. A few more. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Yes. Let's do it on the quiet punch here. One more time here. Push, push, push. One more time. Push. Yes. Really good. We're going to add a punch to that combination. So a combination is punches put together. All right. So we have the one, two, three. If I throw another cross, what do you think that number is? It's another two. So this is how you can actually call out combinations that people can follow along. So it's one, Two, three, two again. One, two, three, two. So it looks like one, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Yeah. One, two, three, two. Good. A few more. Go for two more. Two, two. One more time. Two, two. Woo! Really nice. Good job. Get those hands up. Let's do our little workout again. So it's working on the ones and twos. Remember we did this in the second video. We throw the one, give it a little pivot. So I still want good technique. Hands are up, elbows in, chin down. Notice I'm still getting a little hip rotation when I throw that number two. So just ones and twos. Good. Three, two, one. You guessed it. Let's finish out this workout with a one, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Just continue with shots. So, two, three, two. Make sure when you throw that three, get that elbow up. So, one, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Keep it going. Good. 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 Let's go for three more. Two more. Ah, last one. Push. Whoo. Nice work, everybody. Good job. Keep those hands up. Give me a nice bounce. I also want to practice on our bounce. So hands up, just kind of bounce in place, but keep that good defense. We're going to finish out this clock here in five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Your homework assignment, if you choose to accept it, if you want to do it, is to practice that number three. So, all I want you to do is hands up nice and high. Think of kind of 
bracing, so kind of blocking, and then give me a good pivot on that lead foot. So it's block, turn, block, turn, block, turn. Notice my lead foot. I'm getting a nice rotation. So block, turn. Let's go two more. Block, turn. Last one. Hiss. And really nice job. This was number three. I will see you for number four.